fairly stiff breeze from left to right as you watch at home to the back of Macy who boots it away. Brooks a yard deep will bring it out. Out across the 30 and cuts back to the near side. One man to beat. He gets a great block, but he won't take it the distance. The give to Ray Hudson. Straight ahead, he'll power it down to near the 10-yard line, wrapped up by Andre Brown and Ryan Nesby. Trying to come up with a stop here, third down for the tie. Coyle pumps, looks, guns, end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. Diving grab by Clint Johnson in the back of the end zone. Macy averaging 39 yards a kick this season, and it's blocked. Nearly taken off his foot by Alabama. Picked up and taken in for the touchdown. Marcel Stamps blocked it. Nearly took it right off his foot, Tyler. Able to scoop it up and take it up the sideline for the touchdown. Two big special teams plays already for the Crimson Tide. They very nearly got to that one again. Brooks will let it bounce. Flags come in. They'll spot it down at the 27-yard line. So we'll check the marker. Gives them an opportunity to run more than three points. Foul is an illegal block in the back by the receiving team, number three. Penalty is for 10 yards from the end of the kick, followed by a first down. Castile in front of Hudson in the eye formation. Play action for Croyle. Dumps it off underneath to Castile, who loses it. And I think he got it back. Bama plus one in the turnover margin. Castile plows forward and will have the first down. As he takes it to the 28-yard line. Catamounts a plus eight in the turnover margin. Second down and ten. Hudson zigzags his way through a little traffic out near the 34-yard line. Boom. Right to the head. Helmet to helmet, that can't feel good. Had him on the ground. Third down as play resumed. Pass caught by Tim Castile. That'll be good for another first down out to the 43-yard line. Freeland recently added to the Ray Guy watch list. High snap, but he's able to get that one away with some pressure. Beautiful punt that turns over for him. But he hit it a little too well, and it will toward the end zone for a touchback. Wishart, the lone setback for the Catamounts. Tries to turn the corner. He's got some room. Across the 35, up near the 40-yard line. Pick up of nearly 20 yards for Wishart. Shotgun again for Swigert. Lobs that one down the boundary, and the catch is made. Stepping out of bounds at the Alabama 38-yard line. Fresh set of downs for the Catamounts at the Bama 38. Unloads that one over the middle. Caught by John Bush. Wrapped up by Wortham. And an impressive looking drive in the works for Western Carolina right now. Now the Bama fans try to make a little noise. They may have been lulled to sleep by the early success. Play action. Swigert rolls. Throws. Catch made again by Eddie Cohen in traffic. Swigert steps up and dropped, fumbles the football forward, and Alabama's got it. Mark Anderson. Freeland will need to get a good one off here, punting into the wind. High wobbly kick. Francis Brown signals for a fair catch and makes it. Just inside the Alabama 45-yard line. Great drop, dumps it off, tipped, and it is intercepted. Anthony Madison on the tip drill. That ball thrown a little high. Alabama defender got a hand on it, and Madison plucks it out of the air. Castile, the motion man, on second and six. Give to Hudson. Breaks it outside, gets a block. Out 
across midfield and tripped up at the 48 by Primus Glover. Froyle on second down, guns that one complete to Tyrone Prothro. He took a shot immediately. Ryan Nesbitt been able to hang on to the ball. Second down, call it six for the tie. A little flip out to Hudson. Shows his speed, shows his toughness as he carries tacklers down to the 15-yard line. Hudson stays in there. The block. Flip out to Castile at the 10. Barrels forward inside the five, close to another first down. First and goal at the five. Croyle play action. Flushed. Stumbles. Lost the football, and the Catamounts come up with it. So Catamounts dodge a bullet. They've got it. Starting at their own 13. Swiger to the far side. The catch is made. One tackle broken. Swiger, good protection. Guns that one complete to the far side. Eddie Cohen with the grab. Steps out of bounds. Just shy of midfield, but that's good for another first down. We've seen this before. Kind of a rugby style kick, but Owens not quite as effective as the Utah State punter was. Under seven minutes to play before halftime. Third down. Croyle, great protection. Rifles that one complete to pro throw. And that will be good for an Alabama first down. It's a cat about 45. Back to the ground game. Back to Ray Hudson. Powers his way inside the fourth. To the 38, Ryan Nesby with the tackles. Everybody appears to be all right. Bama's got a second and short. First down run for Kenneth Darby. Clock stop, five and a half to play in the half. Here's Chris Stewart. You know that a lot of these guys out on the field right now were had a lot of concerns on their mind all week long. Third down, deep drop to Coyle to the near side. It is caught, first down, out of bounds at the 11-yard line. D.J. Hall looked that one in. Darby stays in there. Deep drop to Coyle, the lose one now. Second down and three. Darby again driving forward and in for the touchdown. O.J. Owens and Bruce Lee went for a little ride the last yard or so as Darby does indeed find the end zone this time. I need to shut down the catamounts right here. Swigert with the interception and a fumble. Flushed out, he'll run it. Heads out of bounds into the catamount sideline. Second and short for Swigert and the catamounts. Throws near side, intercepted. Simeon Castile read that play well, stepped in front of it. If he's able to keep his feet, he is gone. But instead, Alabama will get it. The Western 25. Francis Brown got enough of a finger on that ball to deflect it slightly. Give him credit. And here's Bostic on for a 37-yard try. With the wind, it is good. So Brian Bostic remains perfect on the season. High short kick this time that Goddard fields at the 10. Explodes again. Up the near side. Lost the football, and Alabama's got it. Perhaps Goddard got a little greedy. Swigert. Nearly blocked. 
Brooks will come up and he gets popped at the 43 yard line. Timed perfectly by Bruce Lee. Gillen sets to throw underneath. Catch made by DJ Hall. More than enough for the first down as Patrick Willis makes the stop. Came in for the final series in the Utah State game, but that was basically handed off left, handed off right. He hands it off up the middle to Darby this time, who finds a crease down the sidelines. Touchdown. One would assume Brody Croyle is done for the night after a scare. Christensen lost that kick to the two-yard line. Xavier Goddard right up the middle. Flags fly. Goddard tackled at the 33, 34-yard line. But this one will come back as a couple of markers are down. Temperature never got above 85 or so. Great atmosphere. Maisie booms that one away. Brooks retreats to the 40. Tried to slip away, but couldn't do it. Good coverage that time by the Catamounts. Shorter kick this time. Ground from the 20 goes nowhere. He'll be spun down for a loss of about a yard on the play. Great coverage by Alabama. And Ezekiel Knight gets down there. Brody had a look of utter disgust on his face as he left the field. You hope that it is not a serious knee injury, but that is sort of the reaction down here on the sidelines, and judging from Brody's reaction, that might be the case as well. If anybody would know about knee injuries, unfortunately it would be Brody. For the seventh time, short kick, tumbles, but takes a Western Carolina roll. The 58-yard punt. No pressure and gets away a beauty. Tight spiral that he gets to turn over. Taken in by Brown at the 28. lead. You are getting an entire second offensive line in there. Try and get them perhaps a little unity as a group. Third down. Deep drop for Gillen. Down the near side. Juggle. Caught by Ezekiel Knight. Keeps his feet inside the five. Had a catch in the Utah State game. Well, I wouldn't want to be in a bus any more than an airplane during a hurricane. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Long throw down the near side, incomplete, but flags fly. You hear all sorts of Ivan-related stories and it's not just here we kind of forgot that was pass interference out here in Tuscaloosa the defense, number 24 penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot with an automatic first down I wouldn't know that but they said it on TV 
but there was a bunch of boats, probably 15 to 20 boats in the middle with the dock in the middle of the river. More flags come in as Lamont Reed tries to turn the corner, and that may be a face mask. Foul was a five-yard face mask by the defense, number 94. Penalty is five yards from the end of the run. Keith Saunders, first down. the guilty party that time. Hemby absolutely leveled. The ball is loose. Alabama's got it. Demarcus Waldrop unloaded on Russell Hemby. It is fourth down. Obviously not going to kick a field goal. Pitch it to Aaron Johns, who has the first down. Yeah, and it's, it's not, it, you know, it's not fair to, to your players. They're out there. They've worked hard, just as hard as the starters. Now they're getting their opportunity. But there's a fine line between having good taste and, you know, giving players reps. But you've got a third-string quarterback, a third-string tailback. Straight ahead running by Aaron Johns near the 15-yard line. And Ron McLean. Keeps the feet going. Does he get in? I think there was a whistle that may have stopped play momentarily, and I think it was a premature whistle. Let's see. The officials are discussing it. Ron McLean never stopped. And it is a touchdown. Good punt this time. Brooks drifting back. That one will roll out of bounds right at the 10-yard line. I like, I like the cat. It's a little cat. Such a ferocious-looking helmet. Across the 20 as several markers come flying in. Clock continues to run. 90 seconds to play. John's the ball carrier again. Able to break it outside. Keeps his feet. Rolls out of bounds right near midfield. Andre Brown. With the tackle, but a great run by Aaron Johns after a nice run was just called back. Ty doing all sorts of things well tonight. Block punt returned for a touchdown by Marcel Stamp. First time since Chris James did it a year ago at Ole Miss. 44 yard return against the Rebels. Moves him into a Time for seventh place on the all-time list, Scott Hunter, with a couple touchdown passes in the first half. We certainly hope we will see Brody next week. But for now, Mike Shula and the Tide will celebrate a 52-nothing win. The two coaches, Shula and Kent Briggs, meeting at midfield. Alabama celebrates this win, certainly concerned about the status of Brody Croyle. Fans will cross their fingers and hope for good news. The news is good for Alabama as a team tonight. 52-0 the final. We'll wrap it up with Brian Denny in just a moment.